the picture uh, stopped, but the sound continued, and we didn't know why, and something like this happened now. But it doesn't matter, you don't know how it would have been before. Um, but for us it was a strange uh, experience. So, uh, but um, to get to the close, just let us say a few words uh, after that. Um, I think you have the first one. Yeah. 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 So, uh, video, slightly changed right now, uh, is the outcome of a cooperation between artists and the scientists working independently of each other with the aim to create a common result that goes beyond the differences. Our creation is, so to say, an example of answering the question raised in the call for the conference, I quote, the question of how a communication between heterogeneous systems of couplings and resonance occurs without being predetermined. Poor end. So the challenge for me, as you can imagine, was working without concepts as I normally do. Uh, for example, with, without any definitions and concepts of silence or of nothingness, uh, which is a topic here. But instead, experimenting with contemplating, trying to find the passage from affections and perceptions to affects and percepts, with the aim to create a block of sensations standing for itself, untranslatable into words and assumptions. Contemplating in this way means becoming the perceptive part of the world, having passed into it. I quote Willis, we are not in the world, we become with the world. We become by contemplating it, becoming animal, plant, molecular, becoming a zero. And in our work, this meant, for example, becoming the wall of the house, or becoming the river, and so on. You have to approximate to an extent that you nearly cross the border. Let us add some last remarks on the properties of thinking in images and sounds. According to Deleuze, it means to be driven by unconscious desires. It's a way of thinking that strictly has to be passionate. And in being that, it differs completely from the rationalistic idea of aseptic thoughts. In his cinema books, Deleuze dealt with the specificities and relations of percepts and concepts, or, in other words, of images and thoughts. He differentiates between two moments that are constitutive for moving images. The first goes from image to thought, meaning that moving images force thinking. The second moment goes from thought to image, from concept to affect. It's a form of sensualizing concepts, of giving passion back to the intellectual process. So you can get from images to clear thinking on the one hand, to sensory thought on the other. Deleuze put the second moment, the one from thought to image, as follows, quote, We go from a thinking of the whole, which is presupposed and obscured to the agitated, mixed up images which express it. The whole is no longer the logos, which unifies the parts, but the drunkenness, the pathos, which bathes them and spreads out in them. End of quote. These both dimensions are intertwined. The interesting thing is that it's an oscillation between, so to speak, the highest degree of consciousness on one hand and the deepest level of an unconscious. In making the film, we sometimes experience this oscillation as a struggling between two working strategies. Especially for me, it was strange to trust the being driven by the unconscious. Deleuze uh, refers to Artaud, who claimed a strong accordance between cinema and écriture automatique. Both of 
them have to be understood not as an, I call, an absence of composition, but a higher control, which brings together critical and conscious thought and the unconscious in thought. End of quotation. Moving images thus relate to a thought whose peculiarity is not yet to be. They are, these moving images, as the verse wrote, directed to what does not let itself be thought in thought, and equally to what does not let itself be seen in vision. Our opinion is that the crucial point is to be found in what happens between the images, between the sounds, between the images and the sound. What counts are the interstices, the breaks and cuts. You've seen that they've been on each screen and between the two screens, and the same was audible and soundtrack, the way it was mixed. Working in this way produces, as again the conference call stated, I hope, new couplings that are not accidental but rigorous and at the same time indeterminate. And Thank you for your attention. attention. Thanks a lot. We have a little bit of time for questions or comments. Yeah? You said uh, on the very start, you said that uh, one view has made uh, one shooting and which, yeah, which was the left. What do you think? I think yours was on the left. Right. But it is right that it was on the left, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why did you why why do you think that? Um well for two reasons. Um first one because uh, I thought many uh, much much bigger difference between the assemblage of the images and uh, secondly because you said that you didn't have to use words. Yes. Ah, okay. You should use yeah. words. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. Was it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about the judgments that are happening when you... Presumably this is, this is quite highly edited. So yeah. lots of things, lots of, a lot has not got, got in. And you must have thought about what kind of conjunctions are for. Tell us, can you tell us about those? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what kind of uh, decisions we took? Or what, what? You must, you I must don't be, understand the question. I think, I think artists, I think it's always artists make a lot of judgments when they decide what yeah. goes next to another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I'm interested in what kind of concepts were like in those kind yeah. of decisions. Yeah. We, had, we had a story, yeah? Uh, I mean, oh, uh, we both. Will not tell you the story, the script, so to say. You've seen it, um, and each of us had it, and we had those time slots. I mean, one minute. It was a uh, we 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 limited it on 25 minutes uh, maximum time, and everyone had 10 minutes alternate. One minute left, one minute right, one minute. Left. In that minute, all was possible out of the arc so-called archive um, to take it to to make cuts whatever you wanted in your minute so um, I did it my way and she did it her way and at the end um, it was not a recombination in let's say uh, terms of, of, of making more sense but it was like the, the, the order of the, of, the, of the minutes of every one of us was like you would make or they would, have, would have made um, your own film, your own 10 minutes um, as, a, as a plot. And, but we, we use the same, let's say, plot structure. So it was, I, I put three top of it. Okay. Huh? No, 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 okay, secret, secret. Um, now, it wasn't missing... Okay. Two. Two, I do. 
Um, it was a missing kid. It was um, an abandoned house of a murder. And it was um, a holy um, river. These three things uh, were the, the, the basic things for the plot. But now I, I won't tell the story. Um, I think that we really uh, decided that the end should be a good one. Yeah, so I, I wanted a happy end. I wanted a happy end. It was a kind of dissolution, which uh, is a resolving of all those uh, well, dark sides. So, so two filmmakers, two composers, and the same. Yeah. In, in three parts, two composers made it together. So the soundtrack is the third part, and uh, the first part hers, second part mine, so it's a triple blind thing. The no point was only cross referencing between no. no. There were uh, casualties which were astonishing for us. Some kind of uh, some sound of the cellos which uh, correlated perfectly and unexpectedly with the uh, with the movies or with the images. So, Dutch, I had a similar question actually in terms of indeterminacy, I think, which, which might be part of the method, is in, how, in what way does it need to be fixed? You know, as a kind of a fixed edit. Could it also be algorithmical? Some kind of algorithmic. Is there with the ground with the basic structure? It was um, this was rather mathematic. Uh, you're right to to get the structure, and it's also a kind of manipulation of the plot, only to have a structure. But um, the freedom of choice out of the archive of the images of the real images of the real um, uh, image flow. Um, this is this was the risk. I mean, risky in the sense that you don't know about the combination that will Yes, yeah, yes. And it was um, my, my uh, way of working is much more nearer uh, to this concept as her normal way of working. So for her, it was, I think, at, at least at the beginning, more difficult, much more difficult. And, and so you were in a dialogue to set up this before it was a dialogue. It was, it was a <laughs> negotiation. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. And what about the musicians? Did, did you bring them in afterwards? When things were settled already? We, we, we told uh, the two comparisons were told the same plot, yeah. the same top boy um, as, uh, that we had. And nothing more. I mean, in terms of, of process of going from an idea to an agreed method yeah. to bringing all the elements together is clearly a, let's say, hierarchical, temporal yeah. evolution. Yeah. I yeah. think that's also, in, in terms of determinism, indeterminism. This yes. is determinism. This is determinism. This is the, those are decisions that you, yeah. you were asking yeah. about decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that I can sense there's a lot of very, how do you say, um, clear, well, not in the combination, but in the individual elements, very right. clear right. statements. Yeah. yeah, it is, It is. let's say, um, in, the, in the segregated, in the selected parts, or in segregated parts, it's rather disciplined. And disciplinated by, let's say, the ground structure, the basic structure. And it's rather, it was rather aggressive um, to discuss the, that ground structure, the basic structure. I imagine a tough negotiation going on. Yeah, it did. It was, it was, let's say, let's, let's, let's call it tough negotiation. Yes. I have one thought. I mean, you were mentioning that this is not big enough for screen. Yeah. Is this thought to be screened like wall size in right. reality? And we did that uh, one time already, and it's clearly another impression. Because that was my, that's, that was my question about, let's say, the it's made for big screen. Aspect of the central yeah. thing. I mean, I did get a little bit of it, but maybe if your intention yeah. for it was to be the size. The problem is now to read it. Yeah. The, uh, the first uh, decision uh, from the organizers was to show.
show it in the Sphinx cinema. So I, this was at 9 o'clock in the morning. At 9 o'clock, I can't so, speak, uh, I can't do anything. This is not the time. It's not the time for proceedings. Right. For this one, yeah. And this so was the second uh, option. But it's, it's interesting to think of that setting up a piece like this, you have assumptions or you imply specific ways of perceiving, you know, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Which you might not have verbalized, but now you encounter them. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I find that as a performer, I continuously have to negotiate the spaces I'm performing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in a sense, this is, a, this is similar. It was also a kind of self-education for me. Because I'm not very patient, uh, especially working with other people. Also, she's rather sympathetic to me, but um, it's, it was a, a, a basic difficulty to to share some some approach to to, to a common theme, to the, the common theme, other spaces or um, uh, aniente, the, the whole. Um, story which we set up together. Any more questions or comments at this point? I have another curious. Uh, I think at a certain point uh, there are uh, we have, uh, similar shootings of the leaves. Yeah, we had a common archive. Yeah. And nobody knew from the other which, um, which films or which uh, strikes the other would take from the common archive, from the archive which we set up together, so filming, from making. Have this, uh, parts. Yeah. She oh, brought it to so me. I, I, this, this was so mine, I think. It was mine, my, my beginning, and she brought it. But you were uh, shooting together? Yeah. Uh, not always, but most of the time, yeah. It was, uh, for example, in the, in, the, in, the, in the cavern, at the end, yeah, of the cavern, I was uh, alone, alone for half an hour. Six, we came together at the location. It's another. This location, for example, was uh, on Sardinia, on the island, Mediterranean island. And a good friend of mine is um, uh, a part of being son of a, a pastor. How do you call that? Um, pastore. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor. Pastor. Uh, okay. Um, and he knows. Uh, one who, who uh, uh, cares for for for, for sheep, yeah, the shepherd. The shepherd, thanks. Yeah. Um, uh, and he knows places which nobody else, uh, nobody else knows. And he led us into this little hole, a little hole, right, really little. And you go in there, and then there's a dome of thirty meters after five minutes. And in one of those domes, we made part of the, the film snippets. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So, tell us again, when is the second screening? At half past nine. Uh, okay. There will be, uh, I always forget his name, uh, there will be a screening of two films. The second will be this one. Peter, um, Stammer. Stammer. Yeah. And where, where is it? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, in the building where the dinner is. It's in the office. Oh, it's in the office. So it must be the concert room. It's the concert room. So maybe there will a slight, slightly change of, of the soundtrack. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so it's worth watching a second time. Or yes. So it's because it's it will be hopefully different. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks, Thank thanks a lot. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. And now we have one last point in the agenda. So I have no idea, are um, Herbert and Schaffel here? No? They are not in the book. They are not in the book. So I wonder where this last stop on the central line gets skipped.
Ja, ja. 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 